My name is Salva Soto. I was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico and raised in the amazing Bronx. I am first and foremost the parent of two amazing daughters, 22 and 27. I've been married to a very supportive husband for the last 31 years. And I am the founder of the Epic Circle, which is a forum for parents, caregivers, and providers of special needs children. My intention is to revolutionize the way that parent support groups are made. Um, I want to incorporate workshops, lectures, um, masterminding. I've been inspired by my daughter who lives with the challenges of cerebral palsy. She uses a wheelchair as well. Her name is Ireta and we love to call her Juji. Um, she's 27 years old. She is just amazing. She's been through a lot. She has one more year, I think 10 months, to finish her bachelor's. She wants to be a history teacher. And so I am always looking for ways to not just honor her, but also honor those um, that have been walking that path just as she has. This forum provides those valuable tools for parents to become a more effective advocate for their children. Also incorporate exercises on where the parent can express themselves in a more effective way, in a more uh, valuable way. They've always had support groups, but I always walked away feeling uh, unsatisfied. Always a uh, negativity aspect of it. The parents always speaking of what their children cannot do. I've always thought that it was important for that to change. I want to focus on the parent. I think that if you empower the parent, then the parent is able to empower the child because they, they are also members of society and they are capable to providing just as much as the rest of us can. Having a child that's diagnosed with a special need can take you into a very dark place. You feel like you're, the world is crumbling around you. you as, as time goes on, you actually feel the ableism, the marginalization of being put to the side and, and going on to a whole different uh, community. Others don't understand you. And so it can become lonely walking that path and you also have to go through the process, the mourning pro process of having lost a normal child and it can, you can get lost in that. That's why parent groups are special. They are need, very much needed, of course, but I think that the structure should be a little different. I think that I should, if I am sitting in a, in a support group, I want to be giving the tools on how I can manage more effectively the way that, uh, not only my emotions, but the way I communicate with the rest of the world um, in, in all areas. And so I want to take a stand and bring that to the community. You have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to, to embrace the challenge and be brave enough to, to, create a, to create that movement. Whether you're fighting for the, the rights of your child, whether you're going to, to knock on doors in Albany because um, we need this, this busing in place, you have to be able to embrace everything that comes with it, that the exceptionality of, of being a parent with special needs or being a person with special needs, you have to embrace it. What has been most difficult for me has been marginalization. I shouldn't have to, or my daughter shouldn't have to work so hard for what's right for her to have. She should be able to have access to everything that everyone else has. And so I say my daughter, but she's representing a larger community. And I am also representing a larger community. And, and we have to think that we're, we're also aging. We're also vulnerable to our environment. So we also have to take consideration that it's just not that child that, ha need, that has special needs, uh, but we may come to a point in our lives that we may also have special needs. It's very easy to give up, but I try to always remind myself that failure is an opportunity to get up, 
start again bigger and better in a more wiser way. And I've come a long way and so has she.